Do you know on what principle the rocket is launched from the launching site? Which basic principle is involved? Not only rocket launching, but with every kind of motion. If you know the answer, comment your answer in the comment box. Hello friends, I am Rahul, your STEM trainer. Today, we are going to make a project and learn science behind it in this project-based learning video series. The main purpose of this video series is to enhance the understanding of the concept and inculcate the concept in the real-world application. Today, we are going to make balloon-powered car and we are going to understand Newton's third law. So let's start today's video. First of all, we need some supply. Our balloon powered car is ready. Now we will test our car. After testing the car, we will understand the science behind it. When we blew air into the balloon, potential energy is stored in the balloon. When the air is released, potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. That means motion and the car moved forward. Here Newton's third law was in use. Let us understand what is Newton's third law. Newton's third law is basically based on action reaction pair of forces. It says that for every action there is equal and opposite reaction. Here action and reaction are forces and forces always works in pair. If an object A exert a force on object B, then object B must exert a force of equal magnitude and opposite direction back on the object A. 
Let us understand it with an example. The swimmer pushes against the pool wall with her feet and accelerates in the direction opposite to that of her push. The wall exerted an equal and opposite force back on the swimmer. You might think that two equal and opposite forces would cancel, but they do not because they act on different system. Now, let us understand how Newton's third law was in use in our balloon car. Air was stored in the balloon. When the balloon mouth was kept open, all the air started coming out of the balloon, generating a action force. As the balloon was fixed on the car, so the car moved as a reaction force. Here, action and reaction both will be exerted on two different bodies. We hope you might have understood Newton's third law. If you have any doubt, please comment below. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next video with another concept. If you like the video, press the like button, comment and share with your friends. Subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.